right, what's up, people? This is your boy Alex. Today is Friday night, and I'm doing another video, but this is on my second sports reserve channel. I have like four sports channels, two of them have already ran out of space. I have another one that's supposed to be the primary sports channel. This is like if we run out of space and we have to put stuff on here, but it also is known as Alexander Sports and Fitness. On this show, it's just 100% sports and fitness only. No sex games on here. Um, and then on my other channel, I haven't launched it yet, but that one's going to be talking about clothes and fashion. You know, that's like a new idea, new concept. And then we're going to have a name change of our video content because my producers behind the scenes have told me eventually by the end of the year or at the start of 2021 we're going to have to change the name sex game to attract new audience because you know as a company you have to grow you know you have to grow you have to expand you have to grow you have to mature you have to go into a different direction and see what happens with that but that's going to be in the near future not now now this video is going to be an episode i apologize that i have not been on this channel it has not been that active I'll try my best. This one is going to be called Alexander Sports Fitness Episode 1. Yes, it's hot. It's going to be called Episode 1, and it's going to be called Fitness Haters. Now, you're probably spitting out your Coca-Cola, your Pepsi, your Mountain Dew, and you're probably going to yourself, Alexander, what is a fitness hater? Now, you've heard of the word player hater, but... Only a few people have, have, have heard of the word fitness hater. A fitness hater could be anyone. It could be a man. It could be a woman, young or old, black or white. It could be anybody that you went to high school or college with. Let me, let me explain what's the difference, the compare and contrast of a player hater and a fitness hater. There are similarities between the two. Okay, They're very similar, but they're different. A player hater is someone that doesn't want to see you succeed, period. Like seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, they want to see you fail in every category. You know, financially, money, um, status, girls, uh, who can get the best house, the best car, who makes the most money, who can get the most attention from women, who can get the most respect on the basketball court. You know, that's the definition of a player hater. You know, they start off being your friend in the beginning, and then when they see you start to get a huge level of success and you start to match their success and then you start to surpass their success then all of a sudden they get angry and upset because now you're being competitive and they see you as a potential um what's the word i'm looking for um you're you're a challenge to them now where if in the beginning you were just starting out um you were no challenge to nobody when you were in high school and college you had to start from the bottom and work your way to the top until people noticed you. Um, a fitness hater is similar. A fitness hater is someone who don't like the fact that you like to take care of your body health-wise. You know, you watch what you eat, you watch what you drink, you eat your fruits and vegetables, you drink a lot of water, and you try to maintain your diet, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know, the most important three meals seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. You know, some people drink lots of water. Some people drink um, half a glass of milk. Some people are allergic to milk. There's milk and then there's soy milk. And I'm going to make a future fitness video on what's the difference between milk and wavy proteins. You know, that's going to that's gonna show you that this ain't sex game. Sex game is my other big show here on YouTube that a lot of people watch. Some people love that show. And some people hate and despise that show. Here, we're just talking about sports and fitness. So we put it together and we call it Alexander Sports Fitness. Where it's only going to be talking about two of the most important subjects. Men like talking about sports when they go to the gym. Sports when you're at work. Sometimes you could be going to the bank, cashing your check. And you might talk about your favorite basketball team, football team, baseball team. You might talk about mixed martial arts, boxing soccer, whatever sport you like, you might be at a bar and a conversation might come up, who's your favorite football team, who's your favorite basketball team, who's your favorite baseball team. 
So you have to like, you know, use this and think. And a lot of times when you're in the gym, conversations strike up about basketball or football or baseball. Some people are going to ask that billion dollar question, who's better, LeBron James or Kobe Bryant? That does happen a lot in the gym. And this is one of these conversations that will get brought up. And people might say, what is a fitness hater? A fitness hater is someone that doesn't want to succeed you in getting in athletic shape. Like, let's say you're, let's say you gain 75 or 80 pounds in nine months. And let's say you're overweight, you're obese, you're fat, right? And let's say you went to the doctor and the doctor told you you've been gaining too much weight. You know, you got to cut back on what you've been eating and what you've been drinking. And let's say that somebody makes a negative comment to you telling you, man, you'd have put on way too much weight, man, when you're going back to the gym. That's like a rhetorical question because ever since we have the accident, you know, you ain't been able to go to the gym. Ain't no one been able to go to any gym. 24-hour fitness, LA Fitness, Planet Fitness, Gold's Gym. Ain't no one been able to do any physical activity. Yes, there's the park. If you have exercise equipment at home, that might help you 65, 70, 75 percent of the time. You're in some what of shape. That's going to be another episode. That might be episode two or episode three down the line where I might explain what's the difference between out of shape, somewhat in shape versus you're in complete shape. Because there's like a difference between the three. And a fitness hater also insults your intelligence because they don't like the fact that when you're in athletic shape, um, that intimidates some men. Some men are intimidated if you go into a gym and you can do cardio for one hour and then another hour you do weight training and then all eyes is on you. You get all of the attention, all of the respect. And they get intimidated by that because they're not getting the same reaction you get. Some guys, when they come in the gym, well, you know, there's not, some guys don't want no attention when they come into a 24-hour fitness, a Planet Fitness, an L.A. Fitness, a Gold's Gym. Some guys don't look for that attention. The ones that be looking for the attention when they first come in be the fitness haters because they want all eyes on them. So they'll try to pick the biggest weights and try to bench press or deadlift um, 200 pounds, 300 pounds, or even try to bench press or deadlift 400 pounds for that attention. And this is how you cause injuries. This is how you break your arm, your leg, you strain out your back. You can cause a herniated disc. You can um, hurt your neck. And you could be missing for nine months. Sometimes you can cause an injury and you could be gone as a little over two years because you were showing out in the gym instead of not using this. And a lot of fitness haters love to size up their male competition. Like they have that mindset that we're in high school, we're in college. You might be 25, you might be 35, you might even be 40, 45 years old trying to figure out why is this fitness hater, you know, making negative comments about me when I'm not even focused on that. The, what gave me the idea to do the video was like maybe less than a week ago. I'm not going to say any names, obviously, but there was someone that came to visit recently and he was telling me about, you know, the different gyms that you can go to get in athletic shape. And to me, it was like, I wanted to say, you do realize we're still going through the accident. I'm not going to say the real name because I watch other people's YouTube shows, other people's videos. And I've seen some people have their shows, their videos get demonetized and taken off the Internet because there's a new rule. You speak of the real name of the accident and they'll shut your channel down, freeze the video, take the video down. And YouTube has it where if you get too many strikes your channel can get suspended. That means you may not make a video for about three or five days. That's a week. Second time you get a strike, it could be two to three weeks. You get strike number three, it could be a month, two months that you don't get to make a video. You get your fourth and final strike, um, your channel and your videos get deleted like that, and they're not playing because I've seen some people um, one year have a good channel, strong numbers, good supporting cast, got views and subscribers bigger than my channels. And two years later, I try to type their name up and can't find their name because A, B, C, and D. And I'm trying to tell you there's a compare and contrast between fitness haters. Fitness haters do kind of like the same thing a player hater do. 
they say negative comments from out of nowhere. And they make sure they're directly aimed in towards your direction. And they say it in proximity to where you can hear it to make it blatantly obvious that, yeah, I said it. What you going to do about it? And you probably be shaking your head like there's no need for you to be ignorant or stupid and delusional and take it to that to that to that level. And when they have the mindset like we're back in high school and college, that's the first strike. That's the first red flag. The second red flag is when they try to compare themselves to you when you do your cardio and the weight training. Like, there might be a reason why you need to build muscle. There might be a reason why you need to burn fat. There might be a reason why you need to slim down. And they copycat and imitate your level of fitness not realizing what your goal is for doing it. Now, when you're not able to get access to a gym, they will say stuff like, well, there's the park. Well, not everybody goes to the park and work out. Too many people go to the park. And then you might have to wait two or three days to go to the park where you can get on the exercise equipment and get, you know, get, you know, get some exercise in. You know, 30 minutes to an hour. Some people do full-blown two-hour workout. It all depends on that person's mindset. And when a fitness hater starts making comments about your waist size, your BMI, how big you are, that's like a spit in the face because you're looking like, well, you're not in that much of good shape either for you to be talking. And when you finally start to address the fitness hater the same way you would address a player hater, they don't like constructive criticism from what I've noticed because you're now taking the reflection of their ignorance and you're putting it towards them. It's like they have to look into the mirror and the mirror is showing their reflection. It's like a self-projection of themselves because they're not in athletic shape. And they want to take those insecurities and pass them on to you so they can make themselves feel good about themselves and make you feel bad about it. It's almost like saying, I want to transfer my negative energy to you so I can take your positive energy. I want to go from having a bad day to having a good day. So I have the good day, you have the bad day, because I transferred my negative energy and took your positive energy. And then if you fall for the trap, um, every time you go to a 24-hour fitness, Planet Fitness, LA Fitness, Gold's Gym, you're going to have the same problem every single time. And everyone's going to notice every time someone says something smart to you, you react to it like that, and then you go off on the handles, and then it ain't until some older guy that's in his late 30s, mid 40s, early 50s, who got to put you to the side and explain to you, you got to stop reacting to what somebody says to you, good or bad, because you don't know what their intentions is. And the reason why I say good and bad is because just because somebody say, oh man, um, you look big and buff, or you look like um, Captain America, or you look like Thor. It could come off as a nice comment, but if you look closely, sometimes it could also be used as a direct shot because they may feel like, well, because you look like Captain America or Thor, they think in their subconscious, that's why he keep getting all the women. And you may be like, well, I just come here to get in the athletic shape, do my cardio, my weight training, and watch what I eat and drink and have a good balance. That's what you go to the gym for. A fitness hater is just like a player hater. So there's a lot of similarities. Now, here's where the fitness hater and the player hater are different. Player haters don't care if you go to the gym or you don't go to the gym. A player hater's purpose is for you not to succeed in every category. Fitness hater focuses on one area, how well you get in the athletic shape and how fast they can take you out of that level and bring you down to their level and make it to where... You're not in shape and then complain that you're not in athletic shape when they're the one who caused you to go from being in athletic shape to not being in athletic shape. Like they'll say, oh, so you don't you don't um, they'll say stuff like so you don't you don't eat cookies or you don't eat donuts or you don't eat cupcakes. And you might say on an occasion, I might eat donuts and cupcakes and then they'll make it seem like, oh, I didn't know that. That's another direct shot at you because. All their goal is, is to mess you up in the gym. So he can get in the athletic shape, but that's what he's trying to do. So he can get the female attention. And you be thinking in your head, like, these be men that do that in high school and college, right? 
you don't be thinking, okay, there's a guy 30, 35, 40 years old that do that. And you got to be careful because you get some guys of these ages who do the same thing. And you be like, that don't sound right to me. And I'm just trying to explain to you what the difference is between a player hater and a fitness hater. Now, you might say they're exactly the same. And I can see why people will say they're exactly the same. But the reason why I'm saying they're different is because player haters try to get you in every category to fail. That means your money. I want to make more money than you, so they might sabotage that. You're trying to get a house or a car, they'll sabotage. I'm talking about the mind of a player hater. A fitness hater is going to sabotage you in one area and one category, and that's your fitness. Now, the reason why I said I'm not going to say any names is because it ain't just one person that will attack you. It could be a number of individuals. Doesn't matter if it's friends or family. It could be somebody at work. It could be another guy at the gym who see you deadlift and think he can copy your workout. See, you have a lot of men copy people's workouts. And then, and when you copy somebody's workout, that actually is bad because then what happens is you take on that person's characteristics and then you go into the world thinking, well, it worked for him. And then people start to stereotype you um, like you see in those movies and television shows. And that probably might be episode three or four. What happens when you try to copy somebody's workout and you accidentally stare, you get stereotyped and then you live up to that reputation and then you can't change it. So I'm not trying to make this video longer than what it has to be. It was just to launch this YouTube channel and it's about fitness and sports. So our first lesson today is always going to be the most toughest and if this is high school or college, you probably got that feeling like, man, this is some boring information. But let me tell you something about information. Information is key, okay? Remember that. Whether you're in high school, college, you're in your 20s, your 30s, information is key. You want somebody like me that's got 14 years of experience of going to the gym to tell you this. Because you don't want to end up like me saying, well, ain't no one ever told me this. And then it'd be five years later, ten years later that you find all this out. And you'd be like, Alexander, you ain't never told me this information, man. You know, you make all these great videos. Why you ain't never told this in the video? Now, some people will watch this and understand where I'm coming from. And some people might kind of not understand where I'm coming from. So that's understandable because it's a new YouTube channel. And not all my YouTube channels um, grab um, attraction like my old channels used to or the ones I got currently. This is to try to explain to you what happens when you're either out of shape or getting back into shape, and then you get the homonym attacks. And when you get the homonym attacks, it don't matter. Because some people want to make it seem like, well, it's just black men. No, 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 no. I've seen, I've seen a whole bunch of stuff that will blow your mind, but I'm not going to talk about it all in one video because we'll be here all night. It's hot. I'm sweating. Got to take a shower again. And people got other stuff more important to do. And this is when I launched this channel. So, yeah, we're not going to talk about all of it. But these are just prime examples of what you might go through on a daily basis. So, until then, peace.